Hi everyone, uh, it's so good to be here again. We were here last year as well and we enjoyed the conference last year. So we are Jona and Jenny, uh, we are both from uh, Albania and uh, we were last year we were uh, Red Girl Summer School students. So we met uh, six years ago at the uh, University of Tirana. We were both uh, studying uh, business informatics and uh, we realized that uh, we share the same passion for technology and uh, open source and uh, football as well. And that's why we became friends. So how we started with open source? Uh, Back in my time, uh, five years ago, uh, I wanted to go to some event uh, about uh, Linux. And uh, just uh, when I, uh, I asked, before I asked my friends to join me, and they, uh, they didn't come. So I went there, and just when I was about uh, to make it, and I, did, I didn't go in uh, because. Uh, uh, I was like, uh, that should be a very nerdy for me and that I'm not very good enough, so I didn't go. And uh, some months later, Yona asked me to join her uh, at the uh, Open Source Conference Albania. And uh, we went there and we learned uh, about open source and we, we saw every talk and uh, since then we've been in love with open source and we continue to contribute to it. Let's say that OSCAI, the, the conference that we have in Albania, that uh, it's also uh, one of the biggest conference here, uh, we can say, uh, in Europe. Uh, it was the main reason that uh, helped us a lot to get into open source specifically. So when we attended OSCAD and let's say we were very interested, like, let's say who was even organizing that conference, so we could, uh, let's say, attend a bit more uh, events, we can know more about the communities that were part of um, the conference and so on. So we learned about Open Labs. Open Labs is the community that is uh, behind OSCAD that organizes the conference. And uh, it's the first hackerspace uh, in Albania that started in 2012. And now we have done, let's say, more than 150 events, uh, only regarding open source and for different um, communities or different projects that we try to promote there. Uh, one of the things that uh, really we really liked was that um, it was, let's say, a bit strange in the beginning because we didn't uh, to suspect or let's say uh, we didn't know that a lot of girls were, were part of the uh, hackerspace. Because you know, technology, hackerspaces, and we were uh, waiting to see a lot of boys, but now it was completely different. Uh, more than 80% of the members uh, are girls, and it's something that we haven't seen in other places, countries, and so on. And uh, this group photo is um, one of the group photos that we did this year for Fedora Women Days. Uh, and uh, Fedora is, uh, let's say, one of the projects that I started first at Open Labs. Um, when we started, one of the, the other events that we joined was the Wikipedia Weekend, and the project that I was, let's say, most interested uh, for Linux, the, the distro that I liked more, was Fedora. Uh, and uh, it was kind of a bit challenging for me as well because I was not the kind of person that liked a lot to do public speaking or uh, even to organize events because I was like afraid that people would make questions that I didn't know at all and I feel very awkward. Uh, so when I started with uh, the first event that I did there, uh, I was quite, let's say, uh, feel a bit afraid all the time. Uh, and but as I said, it was um, a nice challenge that uh, Open Labs people helped me a lot. Uh, and now uh, I'm very happy to see that uh, the local Fedora community is one of the communities that is most uh, active uh, in Fedora general. But we, uh, we don't have only Fedora, that it's uh, one of the projects that we promote there. Uh, we have um, Nextcloud as well, LibreOffice and some others. 
So, as Jonas said, one of the projects that uh, we promote is uh, Nextcloud, and uh, Silva, who is here, has been organizing uh, Nextcloud meetups. Uh, and uh, even Jan was there. And, so the person uh, that we heard for uh, first uh, for Nextcloud actually was Jan. So thank you about that. So here's the tweet that we saw from uh, Jan. And uh, this is how we got introduced to this uh, scholarship, Rails Girl Summer of Code. And uh, so, yeah, when we, saw, uh, when we saw first the tweet, uh, we were like, okay, it sounds very interesting. We were still students and we wanted, uh, let's say, to get more experience into, into technology. Uh, we were a bit afraid in the beginning because it, because it was only coding and probably we thought that it's not very beginner friendly. Uh, but we said, okay, it's not that we have something to lose, so probably we should just apply. So Rails Girl Summer of Code uh, is an uh, award-winning uh, internship, uh, three months internship that uh, people that uh, will be part of it, they will do during the summer, that starts from uh, June to an end in September. Uh, uh, what is different from the other internships is that you need to be two people uh, to, uh, let's say, be part of it. Uh, that's uh, how we uh, got together and we formed our team. Uh, and uh, to, let's say, even be part of it, uh, you need to decide the maximum is two projects, uh, so you can uh, choose one or to the maximum, and you need to have one mentor for each project that um, it's, all, uh, the mentor is the person mostly to guide you through that project, and also you need to have minimum the two coaches uh, per project. So, and yeah, we were like, uh, why not, let's apply and let's try. So why, uh, why did we choose uh, next lab? First of all, it was because of the amazing uh, community that uh, Nextcloud has, and we really believe in the power of the community. And I think this is one of the strongest, yeah. And uh, like we said, we already knew about the project, we were using it, and uh, because uh, there are a wide range of apps and, uh, that, have, that are from different levels, and we found something that was more uh, beginner-friendly, like uh, it was a contact app. So after we applied, we were like this. We saw that uh, there are like more than 200 applications from all over the world, and we were waiting. And sometimes and especially we're, that we were, let's say, beginners into that, we were like, okay, probably we will hopeless, <laughs> not win. <laughs> but yeah, magic happened, so we got accepted. Uh, and our team name was Coraholics, and this is our logo as well. Uh, so our team, uh, the mentor was Jan, uh, and our coaches were uh, Joas and Morris. So we really want to thank them a lot, uh, because we, I don't know, we did uh, strange questions question during the internship. Uh, we didn't have a very good internet connection during the calls that we had. <laughs> Uh, and they were very friendly, supportive, um, and they replied all the questions that we had. So, a big applause for them. <laughs> Special thanks goes uh, to S, P, J, and M. <laughs> <laughs> Irgenvi, who is not here, and also other members of the community who helped us a lot during our journey. Because especially when we went to the conference last year, uh, we didn't know all the people here, so we were a bit afraid how would be the first interaction, uh, if they would be friendly toward us, or should we ask questions them there? But no, they, they were like very friendly, uh, coming and saying hi, welcoming us to the community, so it was very great experience. So thank you to everyone about that. So uh, during our uh, scholarship, we of course had some challenges and uh, 
for example, in our first week, we uh, since uh, I, I used the uh, Irish Linux and Neon Office in Pandora, and like we had some uh, difficulties in installing uh, Islab. And uh, then we, since we are beginners at Git, uh, we, we had, uh, it was hard to remember some Git commands. And also we deal with uh, JavaScript and AngularJS, which was, uh, yeah. And uh, there was some time where we were working uh, on different time zones because Yona had to go to USA to some Pandora, Fedora conference, and it was very hard. So uh, we, we worked at uh, Open Labs Hackerspace most of the time when there were no activities. And yeah, we used this for, for our now. What we learned, uh, we, we learned Git, which is a very powerful tool uh, nowadays, especially for uh, developers. And we got familiar with AngularJS because ContactSub was using AngularJS. And uh, pair programming, it was uh, the first time for us working together. Uh, and uh, a good way of keeping each, uh, each other on task. And of course, we learned that communication is the key and that you should always ask if you have questions and don't be afraid if you don't know something because uh, everyone was uh, once a beginner. So this is a happy moment when the next lab, uh, when the contacts app was released and we were mentioned. So okay, it was an amazing experience, but wait, let's say it comes the end. So now what? So one of the challenges that we had, or the things that we were very very afraid, was that now that we ended what will be next um, if we could find a company that could share or could have the same vision as the uh, next cloud so a company that uh, let's say they provide open source programs applications uh, let's say a company that really cares about the community as well uh, because we really believed in that so this was like the two key points that we were thinking all the time and especially in Albania, it was a bit difficult to find companies like that. So let's say it was one of the periods that you become a bit depressed, uh, just waiting to see what will be next for us. But surprisingly, exciting things were waiting for us. And uh, now both of us work for two companies that share the same vision. Uh, Jenny is working for PHP Lids. Yes, I work for PHP Lids as a developer. I'm doing front end and back end, back -end uh, coding as well as some um, security assessments because I study uh, information security. And uh, I'd like to say that uh, Nextcloud has uh, helped me a lot uh, because, uh, first of all, uh, uh, I learned uh, uh, some. I mean, I uh, grow my skills on, for example, Git and uh, JavaScript, and uh, also it gave me quite a, a boost of motivation to to continue uh, working for an open source company. Uh, and I joined Collabora Productivity, that uh, it's a division of Collabora, that it's a global uh, company for open source consultancy. And as you may already know, uh, Collaborate Productivity, uh, let's say they provide you the powerful on-premise office suite. Uh, and the things that I really liked about this company before starting, that I was thinking if it was the right one, uh, was because, uh, let's say, they believe the same as me in open source. Uh, and uh, they are one of the biggest contributors to LibreOffice. That was very, very important to me, the fact that they were really uh, caring about the community and doing a lot, especially for the desktop code base. Uh, and uh, let's say, since I, I'm in, even part of the LibreOffice community and advocating other people to use it, it was very important to see that this company really cares uh, about uh, the, the community that I was part of. 
and also they have a very strong, um, let's say, relation. Uh, they have a very strong collaboration with Nextcloud. So uh, this would make, let's say, uh, my job even easier and I would be in the same area. Also, uh, here, uh, Nextcloud is using PHP list as uh, its uh, uh, email uh, marketing uh, uh, manager, manager and uh, also we use, uh, at PHP list we use uh, Nextcloud as well. <laughs> but it's not only about the work. So, of course, that we are still doing, uh, let's say, contributing to different open source communities and also still being part of the Nextcloud community. Yeah, we joined uh, other Nextclouders to the them, and we were helping at the Nextcloud group there. And after that, uh, we, we have been invited to the Hack Week, and uh, one Hack Week that I'd like to mention is the one that was on April in Stuttgart, uh, where I met uh, Jessica and Eratic, and uh, they are the new real girls of students, and uh, they are doing an amazing job. And uh, during the uh, at the Hack Week, we were working to together, helping each other on some issues, and it was. Really and also, uh, we have continued to, uh, let's say, do other workshops in different conferences or events, so we can help other people to get, uh, let's say, uh, on board in different open source projects, and they can start their first contributions, uh, because we really believe that uh, they can get a lot of experience, they can have, uh, let's say, a very nice experience as we had, and learn a lot of new things, and... Uh, so on. So uh, here is uh, one of the events that uh, Jenny was uh, at Oscar uh, this yeah. year. It was a Git workshop for beginners. And the other event, uh, it's Forum on Women in Tech. Uh, it's an event uh, that was in Brno, Czech Republic. Uh, so uh, they, are there, uh, they invited different women uh, that were, let's say, very good at their area. So I was covering only the open source part and helping uh, the women that were there uh, to contribute to open source, uh, to make them understand why it's important uh, to use open source and uh, even why to contribute, what are the main reasons and what are the benefits that they can get for, uh, from this. Uh, also, another thing that I did this year, since mentoring, uh, let's say, is one of the parts that I love most, I did Google Summer of Code with Fedora, and uh, this is one of the group photos that we did this year at the conference. Uh, it's an amazing feeling when you share all the things that you know with, uh, with your mentee, and uh, when especially you see the work that she has done in the end, you feel very proud of her. And uh, let's say it's um, an amazing experience that you also feel and new things that you learn even from your mentor. So what are the reasons that you should mentor? Because now we were talking all the time about Rails Girls Summer of Codes and uh, as you know, uh, Nextcloud uh, was part even this year. So we really think that we should continue being part even next year and the reasons why someone from the community, uh, some of you can uh, apply to mentor or to be a coach is because sharing is caring. So it's great when you share all the things that you know, even if you think that it's a very small thing, uh, but you are really good at uh, what you are doing. So with, uh, and sharing the thing that you know with the other person is amazing. You get new contributors to your community. So in this way, you grow your community, you get new people on board, and uh, you help them to get a uh, new experience. And also diversify your community. So as I said, Rails Girls Summer of Code is mostly uh, very into tech uh, coding. So you need to, to know a programming language and so on. But you get more women in this part or people from other underrepresented groups in your community that it's very, uh, let's say, important because as we said yesterday at the Open Source Diversity Talk, uh, diverse uh, teams work better. And from our experience, we have some tips. Uh, so when you apply somewhere to an internship, first you need to read what is already there 
So uh, let's say pay attention to what is, read, uh, what is written there. And if you don't understand something, then you can just ask. So if you have this question that I'm not a good coder, so I'm a beginner, I know just a few things, sh should I apply? Yes, definitely yes. Because it was the same question that we did ourselves when we applied at first. We said probably we are not good enough, but hey, we made it and uh, we were part of it. When you choose the project or the organization that you want to be part of, it's a very, very important part because you really need to like the community or the project that you will work during the summer. Because it's not only one week, but it's three months that you will dedicate from your time to that project. Don't ask to, to ask, but just ask. So don't say, may I ask a question? Just say it. And if you ask a question, it makes you look stupid for five minutes. But if you don't ask, you will stay stupid for 50 years. So I think it's a very, very strong advice that applies to everyone. And also, as we said during our talk, community matters a lot. Uh, because it's not only getting engaged during the internship with your mentor or coaches, but also asking the community. Because it may be something that probably your mentor doesn't know very well, but other people may know it and they can help you. So it's not only getting engaged with those people that will guide you since the beginning, but also with the whole community. And one secret is that forget the fear of failure. I mean, even if you will not uh, will be rejected for the first time, you should really apply again and try because uh, if you will not apply, uh, you will not get more experience and you will never know if you will be uh, accepted there. And if you really want it, you will put a lot of efforts from yourself to win it. So good luck if someone uh, will want to apply next year or not only as a student, but also we encourage also the, pu the people so they can be a uh, mentor. Uh, as I said, so this year uh, we, applied, we were accepted for the second year and the team that was working this year for Nextcloud is Jessica and Arati and we want to thank them a lot for the work that they have done until now because it's really nice and really great what they have done. So thank you. everyone for attending the talk. I know that it was the end and everyone is tired, but I hope that you enjoy it. And if you have any question, just you can ask us on Twitter or you can find us around. So thank you. <coughs>